Hi everyone, this is Learning to Be Thin. I'm making a second video today. Um, this is because I have a hurdle to jump over and it's something that a lot of people have already conquered and I haven't conquered it. I've been so wishy-washy about this to the effect of I, I give a standard I don't know answer when people ask me. I don't have a goal. I don't have a goal weight. I don't have something that I'm looking forward and, and trying to achieve. And I think the reason why is because I was just kind of going on this, oh, whatever feels good, you know, whatever size I feel good at, whatever I'm comfortable at. Scary thing is, I can become comfortable at any size. I really can because obviously I did it before at 247 pounds, or I'm sorry, 237 pounds pre-op, 262 pounds, my heaviest. And I was comfortable then. Or at least I told the world I was, right? So, here I am, 180... Eh, I'm not going to give you the number because I'm not going to do that till tomorrow. But here I am, and I'm realizing that if I want to win this race, I need to be able to see the finish line. And I cannot, for the life of me, come up with a reasonable goal. And I think the reason why, and, I, and this is my mental roadblock, because the last time I remember being at a healthy BMI... Or, I didn't even know what BMI meant back then, but if you do the calculations, I was healthy, was when I got pregnant with my daughter, who's 20 years. I was 18 years old. I was a teen mom. And I remember, because I actually have a calendar, and I wrote down my weight on my very first doctor's appointment. I was 127 pounds. If you go by what's recommended in BMI, uh, it says based on healthy BMI recommendations for your recommended weight, it's between 107 and 145 pounds. Let me tell you a little bit what happened around that 127 pound mark. I was unmarried, I was a teen mom, and I was basically being forced to marry my boyfriend uh, out of high school. I was a senior, in high I hadn't even started my senior year yet. I was fit, I looked great, I was thoroughly looking forward to my senior year. I just waved at somebody, sorry, I just shook the total camera on you, because they're wondering, why is she talking to herself when they're looking through the store window? Okay, that was awkward. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, where was I at? Okay, so 127 pounds. For me, it meant that was the time that I made a choice that affected the rest of my life and I just poo-pooed off my health at that moment I became a mom you know I was 18 years old and I became a mom that's what I did and um, I think that number has such a negative kind of negative thought in my head that I just gotta beat it oh I gotta beat that freaking number so I mean the the righteous got to do it person says 125 I'm 5 foot 4 125 that is you know if I just hit that number and then bounce back up to you know 140 ish whatever okay I hit it 125 wow what would that feel like I have no freaking idea so I'm not setting the goal yet I'm just kinda saying that that's kind of the, the kick-ass remark coming out of my head right now because I almost feel like that's the last kick into that bad decision I made as a kid. Well, ugh, I shouldn't ever say this. My daughter's not a bad decision. But it was a bad decision um, in choosing the results of my actions, what I did. I, I didn't have to get married. I didn't have to skip out on college until I was almost in my 30s. I didn't have to make a bunch of bad choices following one bad choice. I could have stepped up and made a good choice afterwards but you live and learn you live and learn so goal setting I'm gonna do a video on this but goal setting is smart this is the acronym for smart specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound look I have a little printout that says it goal setting Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. I need to set a goal and I need to achieve it because I am now, what, 39 weeks post op, about to hit 40 weeks. I took 
My one year is in February. Time to get serious about this, guys, and get this thing kicked in the butt. I want to be fit by 40, and um, 40 is around the corner. So if you're hearing me talk this out loud, I'm kind of setting goals. But uh, let me just give you a, a little brief reason why this is confusing. Based on the Robinson formula of 1983, they said my recommended goal weight is 123. Based on the Miller formula of 1983, it's 129. Based on the Vine formula, my ideal weight is 120. Based on the Hammy formula of 1964, it's 119. And based on healthy BMI recommendations between 107 and 145. How did you set your goal? How did you do it? Did you just pick a number out of the blue? Did you pick a healthy number? Or did you say, I'm good here and I'm just going to stop here? Let me know. It's really interesting and um, I promise to you by tomorrow, after I get some of your remarks and feedback, I will have this goal set and it will become my new flagship. My new, uh, not flagship, my new, my new banner out in the distance, my new run to, you know, it'll, it'll be what I'm striving for and I won't stop this until we get there. So, okay. Bye guys. I better get back to work. I have a lot to do today and my head has just been wrapped around this. I, I just so badly want to kick it in the gear. Just want to get over this and get it done. Get out of the 180s, get into the 170s and get closer and closer and closer to the finish line. Bye guys.